Well, good afternoon. Travel fans and uh, shower tray enthusiasts. This is Swindon. And as you can see, I don't think the council have even been out with so much as a teaspoonful of salt. The way everyone is having to tiptoe around in, uh, gosh, I mean, look how deep it is. It must be very nearly half an inch. So obviously that's a reason to turn on your wipers at full blast. Your fog lights, your hazards. And uh, above all, whatever you do, don't try and drive an automatic lorry in this. I have to say it's not its favorite conditions for an auto, however, that doesn't really matter. So, Swindon, yeah. Nearly three hours from home, it is 20 to five. Well, obviously three hours. It's gonna take quite a bit longer at 30 miles an hour, which is the safe speed to do. Unless, of course, you have a German car like an Audi or a Beamer or that dickhead there, who seems to think that snow just makes them better drivers. Or their, their cars don't, you know, the, the laws of physics don't apply to their tyres or anything like that. They can get through in the snow with the sheer force of being a monumental toss pot. Just been into Swindon. Swindon is at a gridlock. Absolute gridlock. So we've come back out of Swindon and uh, we're going home now. Hopefully. Although we're not going to make it home tonight, obviously. On the day, the beast from the east met Storm Emma and created a little bit of snow. And as you know, probably from reading the news or, you know, watching TV, the whole country has just ground to a halt. I will say the temperatures are quite low. It is minus 2.1 here at the moment. And with wind chill taken into account, that's got to be what, minus five, minus six? As you can see, the wipers have frozen up. I'm basically just mopping the windscreen with, uh, two blocks of ice. But I do still have my shorts on, most importantly. And uh, secondly, most importantly, the toilets have got through. Always vital to uh, preserve the reputation of oneself and the uniform which one is wearing. And that's what we've done. see you standing there at the bus stop. I have to say, you're a tad on the hopeful side. Yes. Anyway, this is where we reach the queue for the M4, which is uh, rapidly disappearing. <laughs> oh dear, oh lord. I believe, uh, I believe a, a chicken curry will be in the offing tonight. That's what we're gonna have, chicken curry. Mmm. Fantastic. Very much looking forward to that. Where it's gonna be, I don't know. We just have to see how far we get. But I don't have enough time to get home and uh, it is getting quite late. So from the comfort and warmth of your own sofa, perhaps you're wearing a onesie in front of the fire. Have a safe and warm evening, people. And just remember, I'm doing this so you don't have to. Goodbye from toilets here, my friends. Goodbye. <laughs>